let us look at proposition number 16 of book 6 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if four straight lines are proportional, then the rectangle contained by the extremes equals the rectangle contained by the means. And if the rectangle contained by the extremes equals the rectangle contained by the means, then the four straight lines are proportional. Let's say we have uh, this, these four straight lines in this proportion. AB is to CD is equal to E is to F. Okay. So, E is to F, AB is to CD. If we have these proportional straight lines, then the rectangle contained by the extremes that is AB and F is equal to the rectangle formed by CD and E that is the means. Let's first form the rectangles. To form the rectangles, let's, we know how to, you know, uh, draw perpendicular lines and all those things to form a rectangle. So I will directly mark it. So you have G, you have K and let's form the rectangle. Now here, the height of this is equal to F, A, B and F. Those are the extremes of this proportion. Let's form the rectangle on the other line that is CD. So again, I just form it. So we have this rectangle. Here, CH is equal to E. So here again, height is equal to E. We have AB is to CD equal to E is to F. AB is to CD as E is to F. Because we have constructed in such a way that AG is equal to F and CH equal to E, the proportionality becomes AB is to CD is equal to CH is to AG. When we have this proportion, what does this mean? It means that the rectangle BG is equal to rectangle BH. Rectangle BG and rectangle DH. Now, on what basis are we saying this? Remember, this is equiangular parallelograms. All the angles are 90 degrees. And we know in parallelograms, sides about the equal angles are inversely proportional. So, here we have uh, inversely proportional. So, we can say rectangle BG is equal to rectangle BH. Now, we know that rectangle BG can be written as AB by AG. AB by AG is equal to rectangle DH can be written as CD by CH. AG is nothing but F. CH is nothing but E. So, we can write it as AB by F is equal to CD by E. So, that is what we had to prove that AB by F is equal to CD by E. That these two rectangles are equal to each other. And these rectangles were formed by the extremes and the means of the proportional straight lines. Remember, equal means that the area contained by them is equal. Don't believe me? Let me just mark it. So, area here is 13.06 square units and here it is 13.06. Now, just watch as I move it, the areas remain the same. Whether I move this or whether I increase AB, It doesn't matter how the AB has been put up here. You got the idea? 
Now let's look at the converse of this state. Converse of the statement says what? If the rectangle contained by the extremes equals the rectangle contained by the means, then the four straight lines are proportional. So we start with this as given. AB by F is equal to CD by E. These two rectangles are equal. We have to show that these straight lines are proportional. We know AG is equal to F and CH equal to E, which means we can substitute the uh, F with AG and E with CH. So AB by AG is equal to CD by CH, which means what? That the rectangle BG is equal to rectangle DH. And we also know that BG and DH are equiangular. So again, this tells us that AB is to CD is equal to CH is to AG. Why? Again, in equiangular parallelograms, the sides about the equal angles are inversely proportional which can be written as AB is to CD equal to E is to F. Why? Because CH is equal to E and AG is equal to F. So we have shown that if the rectangles contained by the extremes equals the rectangle contained by the means, then the four straight lines are proportional. So that was proposition number 16 of book 6 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share it. That's it for now.